Hi, it's me again. I can see you're hungry for more graph theory. Me too. Sometimes, when a problem is too complex to solve, approximate algorithms are used. Approximate algorithms provide a solution close to the exact solution, but in a much shorter time. One example of approximate algorithms are greedy algorithms. The purpose of a greedy algorithm is to approximate the solution to a problem by a succession of locally optimal solutions. To illustrate this, let us consider the traveling salesman problem, the TSP, which we have seen is a complex problem to solve. Instead of looking for an exact solution, we can instead choose to always go to the nearest unexplored vertex from the current vertex we are at. This is a greedy algorithm because, at each point, the distance to travel is minimized, one step at a time. So, we've made locally optimal decisions. However, this solution is not necessarily optimal. Take the following graph as an example, for which we explore all possible paths. Let us put the greedy algorithm into practice. Starting from vertex v1, we will first go to v4, because the corresponding edge is the shortest of all possibilities. Using the same principle, we then move to v3, and finally to v2, right? In this example, the obtained path has a total length of 12. However, the optimal solution is a path that has a length of 7, which is the path v1, v3, v3, v4, v2, v4. Do not forget, this algorithm is just one example of a greedy algorithm to answer the TSP. As well as systematically choosing the nearest neighbor, which was the example we've just seen, other heuristics can be used. Here are some examples. You can choose the path of minimum length by exploring k remaining vertices, where k can be 2, 3, etc. If k is equal to 1, then this is a simple greedy algorithm we've just seen. You can choose to go towards a dense area of the maze, where there are many pieces of cheese to be found, or you can choose to randomly launch several possible searches and retain the best option. In some cases, greedy algorithms may be optimal. Consider the problem of returning coins after a payment. We wish to return a certain amount of change in euros and we've got the following pieces, 1 cents, 2 cents, 5 cents, 10 cents, 20 cents, 50 cents, 1 euro and 2 euros. The aim is to use as few coins as possible. A typical greedy algorithm is to select the coin with the highest possible value inferior to the sum that needs to be reimbursed, up to the point where the remaining change to be given is zero. So, if you want to return 3 euros 27 cents, then the algorithm will first return a 2 euro coin, leaving 1 euro 27 to be returned, then a 1 euro coin, leaving 27 cents to be returned, then a 20 cents piece, leaving 7 cents to be returned, a 5 cents piece, leaving 2 cents to be returned, and finally a 2 cents piece. By looking for all possible combinations, we can see that this is indeed the optimal solution. To show this, it's enough to notice that each coin has a value at least equal to twice the coin of the lower value. This means that it's always going to be more efficient to give priority to the higher value piece, because one piece will be returned instead of several. Are you ready for another example? Let's consider the following pieces. 1 cent, 2 cent, 5 cent, 10 cents, 20 cents, 40 cents, 50 cents, 1 euro. And in this case, we want to return 80 cents. The greedy algorithm will return 50 cents, 30 cents left, then 20 cents, 10 cents left, and 10 cents. In other words, three pieces. However, returning 80 cents can also be done by returning two 40 cent pieces. In this case, a greedy algorithm is not optimal. To recap, this lesson has introduced you to greedy algorithms to find approximate solutions to complex problems such as the TSP. See you next time!